I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. You know, one of the advantages of tape is as the new generations of the technology come out, you can substantially decrease the uh, number of cartridges and the requirement you need to house all that data. And so it's one of those technologies that kind of gets better with age. And so one of the customers that has gone through that recently is NOAA, and joining me is Alan Hall from there. Uh, Alan, before we jump too much into the migration thing, talk a little bit about what NOAA does as a global sort of responsibility or U.S. responsibility. So National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, we're responsible for uh, environmental awareness data, basically. So weather, for example, is uh, a critical part of our infrastructure to alert for life and property and to protect life and property, basically. That's that's our biggest mission for us right now. So those pictures, is, uh, pictures of the big uh, hurricanes rolling in, that's you guys taking those pictures? It is, right? it all absolutely right. is. And feeding all the data so we can make <clears throat> the predictions mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. All right, so obviously all that data uh, is probably coming in off of satellites. Uh, talk a little bit about, before we jump into the architecture, because I, I know we talked earlier, talk about how much data you're, you're pulling in on a daily, yearly basis. On a daily basis, it's about 6.4 terabytes per day, about three petabytes a year of satellite data, mostly satellite data. There is other smaller data sets, but satellites are our biggest chunk of that. Okay. So then uh, you, you started out, you've got drawn up on the board there, you had a... Um, uh, 3,400 uh, LTO6 mm -hmm. uh, tapes with uh, that housed 10 frames. There was about 10 um, frames. And then LTO8, I, like most customers, you tend to go every other technology about. as you migrate, right? Right. Uh, and so LTO8 came on the horizon. What did you? What immediately appealed to you about that? It, it jumps from two and a half terabyte per tape to 12 terabytes per tape. So that would allow us. So right now, this particular one is sitting at LTO6 was about 18 petabytes is what it had. Okay. And I'm already storing about 13 petabytes. So I'm starting to reach its limit there. So we have to do something. Okay. And so talk a little <laughs> bit about that conversion process. How did that, how did that go? It went, it went very, very well, actually. Okay. We would pull the data back to disk Okay. and then rewrite it on an LTO tape. Okay, and so then, so then you, you, you had like a temporary scratch disk yes. area, I guess. Yes. And then uh, I, I know that when we were talking earlier, you talked a little bit about um, repacking. It, uh, that's a term that my, maybe not all of our viewers are familiar with. Can you explain what that is? Repacking, it just, it just means that we're, we're taking the data. A lot of times, and, and this doesn't happen for us too often, but a lot of times if you delete data, it leaves holes in the tape. Okay. And so we repack to get as much data on the tape. So we're using as few tapes as possible. In this case, the, the repacking to an LTO8, what we did is, is we generated a list of date-specific files and, and organized it by date so that when we disseminate, we always disseminate by date so that we have as much data from a particular date on one tape so that we only we have to load as few tapes as possible oh, okay. so to when disseminate. You, cause you're, uh, that makes a lot of sense. And so just like kind of a side, uh, I want to take us down a little bit of a rat hole here. But um, one of the things we always hear about tape is it's not reliable. Well, it sounds to me like you just did a whole bunch of restores and a whole bunch of backups, essentially, as part of your migration, because it went from LTO6 to disk, from disk back up to LTO8. Yep. Uh, what's, your, what's your results as a, of that process? We had absolutely zero tape errors. There were no tape errors. Some of these tapes were from May of 2013, okay. and pulling them back, putting them in disk, and putting them back out there, and then on the LTO 8s. And then we go through a, a, a process to verify that the LTO tapes, it, on all of that, we verify the checksums, and we had absolutely zero tape errors. So at a minimum, if I'm doing my math right in my public uh, school education, that's 3,400 mounts and restores, essentially, yep. that went flawlessly. And then I'm assuming then you're, we're going to talk about how how many tapes you needed in LTO-8. Right. So talk about what the new environment looks like after going to LTO-8. So after LTO-8, it, it looks, I mean, it's still the 10 frame. Okay. So we still have this, our, our tape robotic system, basically. But this one goes up to 84 petabytes now with LTO-8 okay. in there. And we were able to move from 3,400 down to about 780 tapes. Now it is still 10 frames. I'm sorry, whoops. But now with this number, I have a lot of room. Right, and, and so the, 
Well, <clears throat> uh, one thing we didn't talk about here is how many drives are in? in 36. There's okay. 36 LTO6 tape drives. And you stayed the same number of drives I did. here? Okay. I did. And that, it, the reason for that is just so you can uh, handle r restore requests faster? Right. Well, we have ingest coming in, of course, so we have right. to write new tapes. So there's, you know, uh, six terabytes a day coming in, a little over six terabytes a day coming in. So we have to write that. And then uh, for dissemination. And we are built to disseminate a six to one. So for, for we should be able to push out the door if we're doing six terabytes, six times six, 36 terabytes, we should be able to push out the door. So that's where we need the tape drives to do the dissemination. I gotcha, okay. And now the, so now you've got a lot of room. <clears throat> is, are, are you seeing a demand, is that rate of um, terabytes per day, is that, is that increasing at all? Is it, what's the? It is. In just the last few years, it's increased about 10 times. So wow. in the original legacy satellite data, we're only getting about 600 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. And so it went up significantly to over six uh, terabytes. So yes, and we're expecting that growth to go even higher. We were talking earlier, I know, and, and so I just want to kind of address this, is it every so often you get a, a new person on board and they, they <laughs> ask you, why are, we, why are you using tape? Um, talk a little bit, I know you've done some comparison to this, talk about the, the differences you're seeing there. Well, new people coming in, they, they don't understand as much data as you've got and what it costs. And the disk drives um, are not as reliable. We, we do seem to have problems. Now, I, I realize you can mitigate that with RAID and, and other ways of sure. mitigating that. But the disk drives are um, an expensive way to do it. And so tape is still our best choice for total cost of ownership. And then the, the other advantage you have here is because, especially in your guys' situation, it's a, it's a very low recall, I would, I would think, environment. So it's sitting there not drawing power or anything. It's just right. sitting on a, a, right. a tape shelf or, or at your other site, right? And it's air-gapped. Yeah. Right. And so then you're protected <laughs> from any anything else. Because I'm sure you get uh, cyber attacks just like everybody else does, We right? do. We do. Yeah. We absolutely do. All right. Well, Alan, thanks for joining us today. Great. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. So there you have it. Again, you know, one of the big advantages of tape is as the generations continue to advance and they get faster and, and more dense, you can do things like reduce from 3,400 uh, tapes to uh, 780 tapes. I mean, that's a huge savings and gives, uh, in the case of NOAA, a huge opportunity for a continued expansion. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland.